God, he brought props. <laughs> you. What's the joke? Go ahead. The mask mandate. <laughs> this is what I wear. I go into the stores and I'm like, sir, you need to be wearing a mask. I hope you didn't buy that for that. No. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction to Zeb Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Tufan, the sequel. Uh, this is called Sarp. Sorry, say it. Sarpata Parambrai. Obviously, we, we saw the trailer for it and, and kind of like the behind the scenes of Very training. Good. Loved it. We saw that song, uh, the rap song uh, that was almost kind of like the theme of it that we loved. Uh, that we loved. And so we were very excited to watch it. Um, so we're, the way we're going to do this one, it just came out, obviously it's a, it's a new Tamil film on Amazon. Um, it should be a small, not a uh, spoiler review, probably, right? Non-spoiler at first. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small non-spoiler. Non-spoiler and then we'll get and into we'll the, get into the spoiling. Nitty gritty because obviously it's new. That's just, normally we always do spoiler reviews, but normally we are watching stuff from the 1960s. <laughs> but when it's a brand new release. Yeah. Don't so spoil. if you haven't watched it, if you don't even want to watch it, non spoiler review, go watch it. It's on Amazon, uh, and it's d directed by Pa Ranjit. Ranjit, yeah, starring Arya, and a big great ensemble. It's, it's an ensemble uh, yeah. cast. So, uh, so there's a whole bunch of other people that will talk about all of them in depth. But Rick, your first initial non spoiler thoughts. Well, went into this with equally high expectations as we did with Tufan. Yeah. And started off the Tufan review by saying, you can't judge a film by its trailer, and that was true for Tufan. <laughs> uh, um, but I am very happy to say that you, this- You hated it? This, Why do you hate Tamil this, films? This, but yeah, exactly. This met my expectations. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I have one little thing about mm -hmm. it that kept me from just jumping up and down, loving it. I'd watch it again in a heartbeat. I have nothing but mostly really good things to say about mm -hmm. it. So thumbs up. Thank you for living up to the expectations. Yeah. I really enjoyed it as well. I think this is a very, very entertaining film. Very entertaining. Um, they did it right uh, in terms of... You know, even though there there are parts that that I'll get into that that especially towards the end that might have been a little more predictable. Yeah, uh, we'll but, get into full breakdown. But the not it, not section. like too fun, too fun. Just you know, and I I don't want to bring up too fun every two seconds. No. But obviously, it came out a week ago, right. and it was a boxing film. Right, <laughs> can't help it, but so, compare. It's hard, but um, but pretty yeah. much pretty much we're. Everywhere that Tufan missed, yeah, this, this kind of succeeded. Correct. Um, it, so we'll we'll go over everything here. There were some stuff that that I that I didn't love, and we'll go over that. Um, but overall, really good film, definitely worth a watch. Uh, so if you haven't watched it already, go watch it. But we're gonna give you a little non-spoiler review here. Uh, I thought everybody, I loved. Aria, I loved his transformation. So did I. Uh, he did. You could tell he worked a long time uh, on his on his body for this, and it showed. Yeah, and the believability factor is just for the most part across the board. I believed everybody in this thing. Oh yeah. I believed all the relationships. I believed what I was seeing. I I believed these people were a clan. I believed what we were seeing as far as the era and. This is one of those things where like, like most sports films, you recognize that dude didn't get looking like that doing that exercise routine. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. You understand they go to extraordinary lengths with the top. It's like when you watch Rocky Three, Stallone didn't get that size doing those workouts. 
It's called roids, kids. Yeah, for Stallone, <laughs> for Stallone, it was without question roiding. Uh, I, I so anyway, yeah, I, yeah. I, I loved him in it. I thought he was really good, believable throughout. I rooted for him. I cared about him. I cared about him and his wife. Yeah. Um, and again, we're not spoiling anything yet. I also my next uh, my next couple favorites and I don't have do you have any characters that you didn't like the mom oh I had a feeling you might not like that I didn't like come on do like you mean to tell okay I gotta get into I, no, here's the there's thing. a spoiler thing I want to get into it, in a second it, about it the wasn't mom. really her acting it was the way she was written okay. I feel like she wasn't written well enough. okay okay we'll get into that in the spoiler yeah. section now my I my next favorite and I think it's because of a lot of reasons not the least of which being I didn't feel the connection and believability with the coach in, in Tufan. Uh -huh. oh, I the coach was great in this. Yeah. Absolutely loved him, believed him. He's a great actor. I liked him uh, a lot. Really, every time he was on screen, I was riveted to his presence. Yeah. The, the uh, wife as well. He was exactly what you need in the role of the coach. Yeah. You need a guy that's, that's going to carry that sense of leadership, that sense of you look up to the guy who's believable, yeah. who when he's talking and he's rooting. I also want to applaud. Uh, there was a there was both a shout out to boxing films and the way it was shot, and there was a lot of new stuff. Yeah, they they didn't take any easy out shots. There was a lot of stuff they could do that was really easily screwed up if yeah. the actors didn't do it right. So. Yeah. I think so, the whole stunt team and the cinematography team did a great job. Cinematography was great. I loved the score. I thought yeah, the score was really, was really nice. Excellent. Uh, and we'll go over this in the, in the spoilers. But um, I just want to kind of wrap it up here. I thought it was a very good film. Definitely worth a watch. Please go watch this film. It's... Um, I, I don't say my my favorite Tamil film in a long time, but definitely my my favorite new Tamil film that we've seen in a without, long time. Without Because obviously we've seen really good Tamil films recently, but they might have been older. Right. Uh, but in terms the, of the, the, newer the, ones, the newer stuff, it's, this is by far one of my favorite ones. Absolutely. Especially even this year. Yeah. I, I don't know that I'd put it above like Great Indian Kitchen in terms of great, like in terms of a better piece of cinema than like that. Right. But I, I put in the conversation of the in, in the top 10 currently of the best films that come out this year. I agree. Hands if, down. If someone said to me, which of those two movies should I watch? I'd say, okay, here's the deal. It depends on what you're into. Yeah, Great Indian Kitchen's going to give you film festival Oscar vibes. Yeah, this is going to give you entertainment. This is going to give you just pure entertainment and you're going to feel and you're going to be rooting for the heroes. But so. not to say that this didn't give you like uh, high high level acting, high level exactly. artistry. It's, it's just, if, if I'm comparing what come, right. came out this year, right, right, right. I could even sneak into the top five. Uh, it's just I haven't thought about it. I Me too. <laughs> but it is. It's yet. one of my favorite ones and one of my favorite demo recents. And the only thing, and this isn't giving anything away, if you were to split this into four acts yeah. and you have an intermission, right? So you have yeah. the first two acts in the first half. Great. And acts three and four it, here, it right? It does slow down in the second half. Acts one and two are pretty much perfect yeah it is abs i was thinking oh my goodness this is gonna be a knock it out of the park right it's act three yeah. where things kind of got off the rails a little bit and yeah. then it came back into itself in yeah. act four i agree i yeah. totally agree uh second half wasn't as strong it wasn't thankfully bad. it ended yeah on a high note it caught there was a point i remember thinking ah oh, there's what i was feeling yeah, in the yeah, first yeah, half yeah, yeah. yeah. there it, it kind of came back um, but yeah, uh, that would be the, the biggest gripe is that it. the second half didn't live up to the first half, uh, but not in terms of it was bad. Nope. It just wasn't, I give it like, if it, if you're giving the first half a 10, you give in the second half a seven. Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was going to say you'd give, and that, that would average out. You'd give like act four an eight and you'd give act three a six. It's yeah. definitely that act three segment for about yeah. a half hour. You're like, oh no, no, don't lose it. Don't lose it. <laughs> 100%. So, so, like I said, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, please, uh, and, and then come back, because we're going to get into spoilers here. Time to get spoiled. Naughty. Oh my baby. So, so, let's talk about the acting. Yeah. Uh, I liked uh, Aria a lot. Uh, we actually saw a song of his with... Um, uh, Sorry, you said Aria, and all I could think about was Game of Thrones. <laughs> Uh, I think it's Arya. Uh, with um, the girl from I, what was her name? Yeah, uh, his uh, wife? It, no. Uh, the song we saw just the other day that we were raving about cinematography. With, oh, oh, and the, yes. With, um, uh, what's her name from I? Right. Anyways, but he was in that. I, uh, I don't know if it'll be on the channel because it got blocked. Uh, <laughs> so it's on Patreon. But um, I would like to see more of him because I thought he did a very good job. 
Uh, I, I believed one his transformation. Mm -hmm. uh, I believed I liked his innocence about it. It was different, obviously, than obviously what we had in Two Fun was this this big tough guy. You kind of like okay, he's gonna become a boxer, and then he's well. They kind of kept you like guessing for a long while of when is he gonna be the boxer, right? They kept choosing different people, and I'm like, I'm, I know he's going to eventually box. And it was very believable. Yeah. Very believable. But I liked that, especially in the first half. Yep. There, there was a lot of very unpredictableness in the first half yep. uh, that, that I, I really appreciated, and I thought he put on a great performance uh, in, ob obviously, not only boxing, but even when he wasn't boxing, kind of the, yes. like, the vulnerable side. And then he kind of turned it on when he got in the rink and became like this bull, almost. Yeah, I loved that about him. He was... Definitely a, a sweetheart inside. Uh, I guess and they're very, very different characters, but that's one of the endearing qualities about Rocky is that, you know, Rocky, he's a, a collector on the docks and he's a washed up Southpaw who gets this weird random shot at the title that he at first doesn't even think he can have. And then as you get to know him, his relationship with Adrian and Pauly, there's this really tender moment the night before. Said, like Paul. Pauly. There's this you got him. And there's this there's this moment the night before the fight where he's laying in bed with Adrian and he's like and he just admits he's scared. And you realize this is just a good guy. Very different character, but I felt that same type yeah. of appeal. It's just this is just a good guy. I loved his relationship with his wife. Loved it. I, that's actually loved one, of my, her. one of my gripes with the film. I thought she was underutilized a little bit, especially in the second half. She was she was really wonderful because and their she, relationship was wonderful. When she came on, right? She she's beautiful. Uh, but the first moment that I was like, yes, was right after the wedding. She got up and danced because she I wasn't allowed to dance it. during the wedding. I loved that loved scene. It. And then obviously when she confronted him, not uh, not but it was before the drinking. Yeah. Um, but when she... about his life being just about boxing, just about boxing. Right. Like, Do you even notice me? Right. Loved that scene. She did a great job. I loved their chemistry. I, I loved that too. she was a strong woman. She yep. was like, I don't need anything from you. I need to acknowledge me. Right. I'm your wife. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> behaving poorly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was great. I thought in the second half she was underutilized in terms yeah, of just third she almost became the mom yeah. for for a while, just crying. And I get I get why. I'm not saying I don't understand why she was doing that. I just wish it was written differently. Like so, she like just she wasn't just whining in the second. Yeah, half. Yeah, I think what they were trying to do in the writing, and I get it, is they wanted to show. He hadn't really changed and gotten worse and what his mom had foretold was going to yeah. happen, happened. And so now what the mom saw, the wife yeah. is seeing. I get it. So I, just, I, get I it. wish it was written differently. I, I, I agree. Yeah. I would have preferred that. Uh, but I loved her character. Their chemistry was fantastic. It really was. Uh, and then, like we said in the beginning, the coach. Oh. Uh, have, I don't think we've seen anything. If but... we have, forgive us. And I know there's, I know for all of you, the millions, th these actors are very well known. A lot in the cast have been around a long, long time. So, so forgive us for just being introduced to people that I'm sure one day we'll look back and go, remember when we didn't know who they were? Yeah. I'm sure he's one of them. He was perfect. Yeah, he was great. Uh, he, he's very subtle in his, but he also brings a weight to, yep. his, to his presence. And he also didn't try to be, you know, um, no, Mick either right you know because that's that's always the struggle for me when like if you're in a boxing obviously it's gonna be compared to rocky or raging bull right right and then if you bring in a coach kind of like tufan did even though i i enjoyed the coach in tufan but like it was you can if you're if you if you have a boxing film and then you have a coach who's this rough and tumble kind of guy it's right. like okay now you're trying to be mick right i didn't feel like that at all not at he all. was he was 100 percent his own character yep. and he he was great yes he i was, was sad when he was in the jail another <laughs> character i absolutely freaking adored was rose yeah <laughs> let's talk about that scene that was, <laughs> that was probably the best fight in the whole thing and i loved his freaking shenanigans yeah his dancing his hip thrusting i laughed out loud several times one of my rose. favorite things about the film because that's not realistic, but I loved it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, and it, we, it may have been. The other thing I love about the film is we're getting some history into the world of boxing in a place in the world where we're not familiar with it. It's a true story. This, mm -hmm. is, this is based on true events yeah. in this part of the world in the 1980s. 
And I didn't know there were clans. Was Rose real? Did he fought, fought I like believe that? this was a real oh, character well, that's crazy. who may have been a kind of circusy character. But I'd never, if that's true, then great. You can let us know right. in the comments. Um, but I loved it because I was like, this is so interesting. <laughs> so I've never great. seen this before. <laughs> so great. I was almost running with dodgeball and like he was doing this. Uh -huh. like, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see so if it pays good. off. <laughs> it was so good. But at the same time, and, he wasn't just dorky Joe no. that was he was a believable boxer and that fight scene was probably my favorite in the whole film I agree even though there was quite a few uh, they were all good which is something once again that this did much better than too fun much it had great fight scenes also at the end one of the best parts of the end it was a great training montage great training I don't montage. feel like we didn't get a great training montage in too fun no you know what the difference was again it felt like okay so the training montage, they were always this way, but especially in, in, in uh, Rocky IV. Um, the Rocky IV montage wasn't for practicality of training. No. It was so that you could see what Stallone's doing next. Yes. And Stallone could show off what he's doing next. And as a kid, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to try that. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I felt that with Tufan. I felt this was far more rooted and grounded in what they probably did. Yeah. I bet they did dig in the dirt. I bet they did carry logs. And, and I like that it was not only... Uh, him training, but it was his his, his uh, rival who I thought did a great job. He was excellent. I liked his character a lot. So did I. I liked his character a lot. I believed all of the relationships between everybody. I know there's several things we probably missed. Uh, one of them were, was probably genius cultural references that we'd miss because we're we're not familiar with the culture. Little things like I know somebody sent me a shot a screenshot of when he said, I've made you your favorite beef biryani. Mm -hmm. And I know that there was some significance to that that would oh, be okay. over our head, gotcha. as well as the political <laughs> undertones of yeah. what was going on that day, that day and age. When the government was just kind of... Yeah, yeah, now for our vantage point, it was, okay, that's what's going on, I get it. We know enough about India to know that government, things of that nature, corruption can get in the way of all kinds of daily life. But I'm sure there's a ton we missed. Yeah. For what it's worth, I didn't. I didn't feel lost. No, not at all. At all. I feel like that's one of the strong strengths of this film as well. Is that even though it's two hours fifty minutes, right? Yeah, it's all. It's a it's a three hour movie. It's a three hour film. Outside of that third act, it does. You, you don't feel it. You're 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 engaged. Yep. The entire the time. The entire time. And you care about these characters. Yep. And you, you want to see what's... Especially like the first almost hour, he doesn't... You don't see the guy boxing at all. Right. You see other people boxing. Right. And that's why I was like... And you're learning about him. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're learning about his character. You're learning about this, this whole culture. As opposed to just, this is our, this is our hero. Now he's going to box. Right. It was kind of almost organic. And I genuinely... How, how, how it came about. It was. And I genuinely had a sense of... I think he's going to win, but... This movie could make him lose. And I liked it. Yeah. I, I, I knew Farhan was going to win. Yeah. I would have bet everything I can on... I never doubted... Brought that for me. I never doubted for a second that he was going to win in this. I, um, I had a moment of... He might lose. Yeah. And that was good to have that moment. Yeah. You know? Uh, I... The mom. No, yeah. No, I... I already said my piece about the mom. I... I feel like, she, just like in the third act when the, the wife became just, like, she was crying all the time, that's what the mom was the entire time for me. So I was like, I don't care about you. I don't, I don't feel the connection between you and your son. Uh, you're just yelling and crying the whole time. And I get it, it's a cultural thing, but I just wish it was written better. You see, okay, I, here's when I knew I liked the mom. I didn't like the mom. <laughs> he gets in the fight, I don't remember what time it happened, and they immediately clipped to her beating the crap out of him with her broom. Yeah. I laughed out loud. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was phenomenally funny because at that point, that's all she's doing. And anything he does, her response, Beating she's the him. one person slapping and yelling, slapping yeah. and yelling. So after this climactic fighting thing, you're right, well, I wonder how mom's going to respond. Well, you don't even get a lead in. You don't even get to watch him walking up to the house. They just cut and he's in the middle of being yeah. beaten by mom. And I, um, I felt, and I just... It's just difference of the way. I don't. I don't think you're wrong. Is what I'm saying. It's just for me, it didn't bother me that she was like that. I yeah. didn't feel like she was empty and, and hollow. I felt like it was born from her fears about what happened to to her husband yeah. and her hopes for her kid. And then she kind of backed off and said, "Great, you're married now. Let's see what your wife thinks about it. She's going to realize the same thing about me." The thing I would have liked to have seen 
uh, more, I guess, better written, and it's in the third act. She made for me too quick of a transition from all of her yeah. life being against it to supporting him. I think it could have been. I think it's believable to get her to the place of saying, "I'm a, I'm for you now," because yeah. that happens to Adrian and Rocky too. Yeah. Adrian doesn't want him fighting, but she makes that transition, and it's believable. I felt like that transition for her happened too quick. Yeah, I yeah. do too. Yeah, I totally agree. But that's a small complaint. Uh, Very small <clears throat> complaint. And then at the end, it was just um, a little little predictable uh but i liked the end like in it's a boxing film i knew the hero's gonna win it's <laughs> it's not a lot of boxing i was films expecting that it. you can't really fault it for that if, if it's a boxing film and your main hero doesn't win I've, I've not seen that film i don't believe unless a warrior well it's rocky oh yeah i guess right. sorry for the spoiler but it's been out since 1976 so uh, <laughs> in the first rocky um, <clears throat> he doesn't win yeah he just goes the distance, and that's all he wanted to do. But for the most part, this was not predictable. Uh, and I did... Oh, uh, there was another thing. The, um, I don't, it's not about... The, I guess it's not about the film, unless they did it. The censorship. Uh, oh, I'm glad you brought that up! Uh, I would have I loved it if they would have given uh, Arya that moment after he's been stripped of his pants. And so you literally see him there naked. It took. It, was it, it, it takes away from the point of them actually doing that on screen. It was like Kisa. Yeah, just like Kisa. The exact same thing happened to me. I saw it. and I'm like, it's a, it's a butt. It's a human butt, guys. Yeah, you didn't even have to show his his genitals. Literally, his butt. Uh, <laughs> we all have them. <laughs> I, and I, I, I was gonna start writing a lot about it, but I didn't want to. I wanted to stay focused on the film. Yeah. But. Once again, not, I'm sure it's not about the film. I'm sure it's the censorship. It's the censorship over. thing. But this is, this is part of the problem, aside from the fact that you've heard us say this about art. One of the reasons so many people have sexual hangups, and many of those hangups become sexual perversions where people act out because of it, is this weird <clears throat> voodooing of the human body and the actual act of sexual expression. Mm -hmm. And it's that kind of thing that it, what it does is it, that's why I, in America we have a rating system. You know you're gonna get nudity if it's at a PG-13 or above. And if it's a rated R, you might see frontal and nudity. It'll tell you. And it'll let you know in the rating. It'll so say you, it's this rating because so if you don't want it's to got see that. that. If you don't wanna see it, you don't have to. But nothing in real life, I've never had this happen in real life. I've never been like walking on the beach and I look to my left and there's a guy bending over to pick up his towel and his shorts are halfway down his ass. It's never kind of like blurred out on me while I'm looking at it. <laughs> no. So the believability factor suddenly goes, I'm involved in this really important moment. And it takes away from the actor's vulnerability in that moment. Completely. Because uh, you shouldn't even have it in there if you're just gonna do that. If, if, exactly. Just like in, exactly. in, in uh, what's, it, what's it called, the, the one that you mentioned? Kisa. Kisa. Yeah. Um, with uh, Irfan and, and, and um, uh, Tilotama. And Tilotama right. goes full, full, full top off in front so, of Like I said, it's window. not about the film, so I don't want to harp on it too much. Right. And since it's your board, you know our, our feelings on it. It's just, it, 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 it bothers I'm glad you mentioned it, because I, I wanted to bring that up. But um, overall, the film I thought was really, really good. Yep. I was so happy that it, 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 it lived up to that. Um, for us, because uh, obviously there's sometimes that you love films and, and we just we don't we don't like it we don't get it right um, and <laughs> then you guys think we suck right <laughs> or that we, have, we have preferences based that's on your something other than the artistry that's your prerogative whatever, whatever. Uh, but uh, it's always ha great when you, obviously I, I hate watching films that are bad <laughs> exactly and for me. There's a level of, you know, if I adore a film, it goes on my all-time greatest list. So this doesn't go on my all-time favorites, <clears throat> but this does go into the list of films that I want other people to watch with me. Probably on your all-time favorite Tamil. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. But, like, I'm showing my mom a lot of Indian films for her to get introduced to Indian cinema. Mm -hmm. And she loves combat sports. Loves. Watches it every night. All forms of it. And I watched Warrior with her, not an Indian film, but I wanted her to see that film. And I wanted her to see Dongle. 
I wanted to see this. Yeah. Especially since this would, she's now ready, I feel like, to branch away from the stuff. She's getting introduced like we did. She's only seen some of the Hindi things. Mm -hmm. Now I want her to get into, into some of the other regional, regional. things. Yeah. And she, I think she'd love this, especially when I let her know, hey, it's gonna be three hours, third act, it's gonna feel a little wonky, it'll get back. That's yeah. all she needs to know. Yeah. Yep. But uh, a really good film. Uh, let us know what you thought about it. What should we be the next of any of these actors of their films that we should watch? And what should be the next Tamil? Oh, uh, I think we mentioned it. I love the score. Yeah, I we did at the beginning. I thought the score, the score was, was great. really, really good. I, they kept bringing back the main theme of the, kind of be the beginning part, the da, da, uh -huh. kind of use training. Throughout. Uh, I liked all of that. Uh, I just, I know people get and, upset when we don't mention it. And the whole things. production design, um, from hair and makeup to what no continuity problems on boxing makeup, which can bother me, and it didn't. Costuming, sets, making it feel like we were in this part of the world in the 1980s, I felt was uh, excellent and top notch. And yeah. this is one of one of my favorite, top favorite films down all, all time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So let us know what you thought about it. What should be the next Tamil film that we watch down below? Mm -hmm.